do subscribe to ikeda channel and press bell icon to get updates about latest engineering hsc and iit je main and advanced videos hello friends today we are seeing another sum of trusses let's see the sums question for the pin jointed frame shown in figure calculate the vertical deflection we have to find the calculate the vertical deflection of joint f and a is equal to constant over here and this is a diagram given over here now let's start with the solution first draw the diagram as it is to find the reaction now see this is a this is a hinge support that's that's why this is a hinge support so one reaction come over here like this okay now this value will be this value will be vc equal to now see over a there is a roller support system this is a hinge support so we in hinge there have two reactions over here so see this is v a and this one is this is your h c then after that this is a roller support over a so this is only one load coming like this this is your h a okay now after that what is our first step to find the support reaction how will you find the reaction support reactions see over here number 1 support reaction calculation to calculate the support reaction calculation what are the sign conversion we are taking taking moment at c now we have to take moment at c okay we have to take moment at c moment at c is equal to 0 clockwise positive okay now see what are the condition what are the coming over here c we are taking moment at c so what are the value coming over here this tan is going downward so this distance will be this distance is Two meter. This is also two meter. This is one meter. This is one meter. Okay. Now to find the reaction over here. See now what this ten is going clockwise direction. So we are taking moment over here. This is applying load like this. So this ten is going. This ten is going in the clockwise direction. So ten into this this perpendicular distance will be four. So first value will be ten into into four. Okay. Now after that, see this H A is also going in the clockwise direction. So what is the value will come? H A into distance will be four plus plus H A into into two is equal to zero. Now while solving this, you get the value of H A will be minus twenty kilo newton. Minus twenty kilo newton means H A will be twenty kilo newton in this direction. Now we have to change the direction over here. Now see, now after that we have got the value will be H A will be minus twenty. So this direction is as our junctions will not correct. So we have to change the directions of the point. Now change the direction over here like this. Now this is your main H A. This H A will be twenty kilo newton. Okay. Now after that summation. What is our next step? Summation. F y equal to zero, upward, positive. Okay. Now see, this V C is going upward. This V C is going upward, so positive. This ten is going downward, so minus ten equal to zero. Therefore, V C will be ten kilo newton. Now we got the value of this one also ten kilo newton, right over here, ten kilo newton. Now after that. 
summation f x equal to 0 this is positive now in x direction see this h c is going in this direction so positive h c and this will going in the this direction so negative minus 20 minus 20 equal to 0 therefore h c will be 20 kilo newton now we got the value of this one so 20 kilo newton now see this 10 is going from up to down this is going from down to a balance this one and this 20 is going in this direction and this 20 is going in this direction means our we have solved the first step of the diagram after that what is our next step now we have to apply the second step will be p analysis now let's start with the p analysis step 2 will be p p analysis in p analysis what we are doing we are finding the all the members what are the in, we are finding all the members what are the load coming over here in all the members like for example ae df ed now see here in this question in this question you can apply the zero force member also in this question you can apply the zero force member also because for your time saving you can apply the zero force member also okay if you don't know the zero force member simply you can solve take a one joint and load more than two unknowns you can take that joint only okay now in here i am applying the zero force member see when we are taking at joint e there is no load over here there is no load over here that's why this will come zero directly okay because of here there is no load over here that's why it come over here zero now now see this 20 now see here here is also no load over here see if when we are taking at joint b and draw the fbd of joint b at that time we got the value over here is also zero because there is no load over here that's why it will come directly zero over here now see after that see this is going up and this is also going this direction now take one joints first take a joint f take a joint f or you can take joint c also joint joint f and draw the fbd of joint f this is your joint f This is your unknown and this one is also your unknown okay now this value will be p f d this value will be p f and e now as you all know as you all know in inclined member we have to resolve the member we have to resolve this member over here like this in this direction because it's going in downward direction that's why now we want this theta this theta and this theta both are same now how will you find this theta we have to find which theta this theta we have to find to find this theta our formula will there over here 10 theta is equal to 10 theta is equal to opposite upon adjacent what is opposite over here this one and adjacent will be this two so 1 by 2 10 theta is equal to 1 by 2 therefore theta is equal to 10 inverse of 1 by 2 and we got the theta value will be 26.56 degree okay now after that what are the what we have doing see now see this is with respect to angle so this will come p f d cos theta and this is not with respect to theta that's why p f d sin theta now resolve the member and solve f x and f y now see what we are doing first we are do, we are applying we are doing first summation f x or summation f y we are doing first summation f x now see in a joint f there also have one load over here also this is 10 kilo newton don't forget this to draw okay this is 10 kilo now we are taking summation f y equal to 0 upward positive okay now see this is going downward this is going downward so minus p f d sin 26.56 26.5 this is also going downward so minus 10 equal to 0 okay 
minus 10 equal to 0. While solving this, you get the value of PFD will be minus 22.36 kilonewton. Minus means your F, sorry, your P FD will be 22.36 kilonewton compression. As you all know, minus indicates a compression sign. Okay, this is compression over here. Okay. Now we got the value of PFD will be 22.36 compression and the what is the sign conversion of compression will be two arrows are away from each other. Now see we are find D or F first we have find D sorry F and D. We are finding to F and D so write it over here two arrows are away from each other is nothing but compression and value will be 22.36 kilo Newton. Okay. Now after that after that we have to apply summation fx equal to 0 this as positive okay now see students summation fx equal to 0 this will go in positive direction okay now what is our value will come see this will going in this direction so minus pfd cos theta and this is also going in this direction so minus pfe equal to 0 now what we have to do now apply the value over here see this minus as it is in bracket take this minus also minus 22.36 cos 26.56 degree okay sorry minus minus pfe equal to 0 and you got the value of pfe will be 20 kilonewton positive means it will come tension now draw the here what tension means two arrows are kissing each other draw over here this is a 20 kilo newton now see this e now see the joint e if this is going in this direction in here this is also going in this direction satisfy This kind of you have to do this type this type because we can save the time over here. Okay. See this 20 is going in this direction. The only see the first arrow. Don't see this another one. See the first arrow. This is going in this direction. To oppose this, we have to go with this in this direction. Okay. Now this 20, this will come also directly. 20 and this both of them get zero over here. Now see over here. Now we have to take joint C or A. Whichever you're convenient, you can take this joint, those joint only. Okay. Now see. <coughs> Now see this will also get zero and this is also get zero. Now here there is also no load over here. So it will also come directly zero here because of no load. And see this is also going in this direction. To oppose this we have to go this is also going in this direction. This is also directly come 22.36 kilo Newton. Okay. Now after that we want what value? We want this value. See here there is also not coming any load. See from say a there is also no load is coming from a so that's why it will directly get zero because it will it is also have directly zero it will zero this is also get zero if you don't understand please solve by manually take another take take another another joints and solve simultaneously okay if you don't understand this how it get the zero over here for time saving you can do the directly zero 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 and if you don't understand properly so please it's a request for you always try to take one another joint like joint a now take joint e after that e then you get the directly you get the answer zero only okay now let's move into another step what is our another step now we are done with the p analysis now let's move to the k analysis now first analysis will done p analysis now let's move to k analysis now the third step will be Third step will be K analysis. This is our third step. Okay. Now, now what you are finding, not we are what we are finding over here. See, see the question. We are finding calculate the vertical deflection of joint F. We have to find the vertical deflection at joint F. Now in K analysis, what we are doing, remove all the external loads and apply one kilonewton horizontally vertically at F. So write it over here. 
we have to find vertical vertical deflection at f so remove remove the given load system in that apply a vertical load of 1 kilo newton at point f okay now see what we are doing analysis we have to find the vertical deflection at f so remove the given load system apply a vertical load of 1 kilo newton at f as shown in figure let's see the diagram this is the diagram given over here Now see apply a 1 kN over F. This is here C, this is B, this is A, this is F, this is F, this is D. Now apply 1 kN over here. Okay, 1 kN over here. Now one kN over here. We have done with this part. Now see friends, uh, we have overhead 1 kN and applying. Now while this using 1 kN, we have to find the reaction. Now what is the reaction over here? This is your, here they have region support. This is VC and here this is HC. And this roller support over here, this will be HA. Okay, now take up bending moment over C. Now C. Now find the reaction over here. Taking moment at C equal to 0 clockwise positive. Okay. Clockwise positive. So what are the value coming over here? C. This HA will clock positive. HA into this distance will be 2. So HA into 2. After that this 1 is also coming. 1 into distance will be 4. Plus 1 into 4 equal to 0. Therefore, we got the value of HA will be minus 2 kN means HA will be 2 kN in this direction. Now our sign conversion is not correct. So rearrange the diagram over here. Now this is your main diagram over here. Now we have to follow this red one diagram. This is a right sign conversion of how much this value will come? 2 kN. 2 kN. Now see, this is going this 2 kN, this is also directly come 2 kN and this is going downward 1 kN, therefore it will come 1 kN. No notice solve. If you want, you can apply over here. Summation Fy equal to 0 upward positive. Okay. Now see, this is going upward. We see unknown. We see this minus 1 equal to 0, therefore Vc is equal to 1 kN. Or Summation fx equal to 0, this is positive. Okay, now in x, this is going in this direction, so minus, this is going in this direction, so plus. So directly it will come minus 2 plus hc equal to 0, therefore hc will be 2 kN in this direction, means our conversion is correct over here, assumptions. Okay, now let's move to the other step. Now we have to find the K analysis now in K analysis what we are finding in K analysis also we have to find the load over here what are the loads coming over here in this part in this part or this or this this is no load therefore it will get directly zero it has also no load over here this is always get zero now always we have this line also. Now see this is also have no load over here see like this see. Here there is no load because of this and this here also no load any load so that's why it will get directly zero 
here this is also no let of vertical force that's why it will get zero and this is also get zero over here now take a joint f now you get the value of these two and you have to convert this two value into over here only okay now take joint f joint joint f now draw the fbd of joint f You know this value is 1 kilo newton. This is 1 kilo newton and this is unknown for you. And this is also unknown for you. Now we know that when two when inclined line is there, we have to draw the two components over here like this. And this will respect to theta. The theta value will be as you calculated previously 26.56 degree. Okay. 10 theta is equal to opposite upon adjacent and this will come k f d and this will come k f e okay now we have to, this will value will come k f d sin theta k f d cos theta over here okay now what we are doing over here we have to apply the accent apply the condition of equilibrium okay summation summation f y equal to 0 upward positive we have to apply the condition of equilibrium over here x and y so this is going downward so minus kfd sine 30 26.56 after that this is also going in downward direction so minus equal to 1 now while solving this you get the value of kfd kfd will be kfd kfd value will be minus 22.23 kilo newton minus means kfd equal to 2.23 kilo newton minus stands for compression so right over here compression this is very compulsory now summation fx equal to 0 this as positive okay now this direction is going to positive so this is going in this direction minus this is also minus so minus k f e minus k f d cos theta equal to zero now put the value of k f d k f e is equal to minus sorry minus of minus 2.23 cos theta equal to zero okay now we get the value of KFE will be over here 2 kilo Newton positive means we got the value is tension over here now put it in the diagram see this KFD FD will be compression compression means two arrows are away from each other so right over here like this 2.23 kilo Newton a tension means two arrows are kissing each other write it over here 2 kilo newton while seeing this this is also this is going in this direction so this will go in this direction 2 kilo newton okay now this is going in this direction this is directly go in this direction this is also going 2.23 kilo newton okay now we have done with the k analysis also now after that what are the next step our next step we have to find the vertical deflection by using the formula okay now our next step will be fourth one what fourth step will be table over here okay we have to find the table first now draw the table over here p in kilo newton k in kilo newton l in meter then p k l Now let's see the friend. You should see friends. Now after that we have to draw the table. In table, first step is member, then p kilonewton, k in kilonewton, l in meter, then then p k l. Here will be summation p k l over here. Okay. Now we have to take the one one member over here. We have to see the p analysis diagram and k analysis diagram over here. 
Now see this is your P analysis diagram. And this is your K analysis diagram. Okay. Now see the member over here first. This member A, B, A, C. Write all the members over here. I am writing directly. You have can see. Okay. Now see the values over here. In P analysis, F and E. F and E will be 20 kN, which is ancient. So positive. Read over here 20. And second one is FD. FD will be compression, means negative minus 22.36. After that, E and D. E and D will be 0. Then A and E. A and E will be tension positive. Then A and D. A and D will be 0. Now A and B. A and B will also get 0. And then B and C. B and C also get 0. Then B and D. B and D always get 0. Now C and D. C and D will be compression means minus 22.36 minus 22.36 you have done with this p analysis now let's move to k analysis f and e f and e in k analysis will be 2 kN tension so positive 2 now in f and d f and d will be compression 2.23 so minus 2.23 okay 2.23 after that what is coming e and d e and d will be 0 over here 0 this is 2 this is 0 0 0 0 2.23 minus okay 2.23 minus now write the length e f and e length will be 2 meter we can write over here 2 and this is f and d f and d f and d now how will you find the length of f and d See, you don't know the length of F and D, but we know this distance. So apply the Pythagoras theorem. You want you got this value over here. Okay. Now see to find length of F D will be in one square plus two square will be two point two three. This is your distance, okay? 2.23. So right over here, 2.23. This is 0. That's why this is 2. Okay? When you are taking dash, you can take 0 also over here. Or length is also you can take. See, L will 2, 3. Something is there over here. But there is 0. There is no use of length. That's why I am taking this sign, okay? Now, into over all over, into over it. This is come 80. 111.50. 080. 0 0 0 0 1 1 1.50 we have to total all this pkl now this well total value will be 383 okay now after fifth our fifth step will be find the vertical reflection at f now fifth step will be fifth step will be vertical Joint F to find the vertical deflection of joint F will be noted by YF is equal to YF in vertical is equal to summation PKL upon AE. This is your formula. Okay, PKL upon AE. Now we know that YF is equal to 383 upon AE. If exam you have given the value of A, you simply put the value of A. If not given, write the answer in terms of A. This is your final answer over here. I hope you understand this video and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.